Shalom Israel. Uh, happy Passover to the whole family of Kai Yeshua and to the 12 tribes of Yisrael. We're out here um, fulfilling the commandment for the Passover. Uh, the Most High Yah commands us in the book of Exodus chapter 12 that we're to burn the Passover before the sun comes up. So if you could look up at the sky, you can check the sky. This, the sun is about coming up now. So we got this fire nice and hot. And this is the, the remnants of the lamb and the goat that we had that Brother Nortegas hooked up for us. So we're about to throw this in the fire and read the scripture starting from Exodus 12. And y'all can start at verse 1 and read together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Noah spoke unto Moshe, Moshe and, and Aaron, Aaron in, in the land of Mitzrayim, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning, beginning of months. This is the first it month, the month the of Aviv. Aviv is the first month on the Hebrew calendar. We all in agreement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It shall be, it shall be the, the first month of the of year, year to you. you. Uh -huh. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, uh -huh. saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, and according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. So the tenth day of the month would be from that Sabbath leading up to the Passover. That Saturday, that Shabbat through this Wednesday night would be the tenth through the fourteenth. And we're now up here on Thursday, so go ahead. Hallelujah. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next to his house take it according to the number of souls, every man according to his eating. So when the lamb is too, too much for just you to eat, then you get together with other families. This is a commandment that helps keep us together, to keep the feast together in unity. Go ahead. Your lamb, Your lamb shall, shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Mm -hmm. Ye shall take it out from the sheep and from the goats. Amen. So we had sheep and goat this year. <laughs> the sheep representing Yehoshua, the goat representing the sin that he came to consume for us. So the, the goat is the sin offering. The lamb is the burnt offering. Go ahead. And ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. So Yehoshua was killed and what happened? The sun went down and turned dark on the day that they crucified him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And they shall take the blood and strike it on two side posts. And, and on, on the, the upper, upper door posts of the houses, wherein where they, they shall eat it. So, all who partake of his, the blood of the lamb covers their household, and their sins are forgiven, and the angel of death passes over us. Go ahead. And they, they shall, shall eat the flesh, flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they, they shall eat it. Uh-huh, so we have the matzah, and we have the un of the bitter herb. Mm -hmm. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire. Roast with fire. What does the fire represent? Tribulation. Yeah. The tribulation. So we're not supposed to boil it. We're not supposed to saute it. We're not supposed to do any of that. Roast it whole in the fire. Um, Yehoshua went through the fire for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was burned. Um, in the fire of uh, tribulation for our sakes. Go ahead. His, his head, head with his legs and with, with the, the curtains thereof. They put a crown of thorns on his head and they nailed his legs to the cross. Mm -hmm. And what else? And ye shall yeah. let nothing, nothing of it remain until, until the morning. morning. Let nothing of it remain. So now if you look up, you can see the sun is starting to come up. So we're getting rid, we're getting rid of it. By morning, nothing's supposed to be left. This is a holy meal, the lamb, so we don't just throw it in the trash. We try to avoid that and burn it wherever possible. Mm -hmm. And that yes. which was remaining of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. So that's what we're doing now, as the commandment said, we burn the lamb with fire. So now when it burns with fire, this represents, you know, of course, a burnt offering. And as you see, the smoke starts to come up. So um, 
This smoke represents Yahushua rising. Hallelujah. So he was killed as we mm -hmm. killed a lamb, and then we ate of it so that our sins are forgiven. But even oh, as this, yeah. this transition yeah. is happening, you see Thank the smoke you. rises up. Yehoshua rolls back up to the Father as a sweet sacrifice and a sweet, a sweet smelling offering, a burnt offering of a pleasant uh, fragrance to the Father. Yeah. Go ahead. And thus, and thus shall, shall you eat it, it with, with your, your loins girded, uh -huh. your, your shoes, shoes on your feet, and, and your staff in your hand. hand. So when we keep this Passover, we eat it like we're going somewhere, you know? Hallelujah. So, you know, even if you're just sitting home, you gotta put your shoes on your feet, prepare yourself that we're ready to leave. We want out of Babylon. We want to go home. Hallelujah. We want to go home. So that's what it was. Yeah. So the people had to, they had to put their shoes on and their, and, 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 and their staff in their hand and eat in haste. We had to eat before the sun rise. We fellowship and we have a good time. But at the same time, we want to make sure that um, our mind is on home. We want to go home. Amen. This is our captivity. This is in our home. Right. Hallelujah. 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 Is there anything else on that? And ye shall eat it in haste. It, it is, is your whole Passover. Passover. Oh, Amen. So you eat it in haste. This is your whole Passover. And um, it said you ate it, you eat it whole. You don't break the bones thereof. So when Yehoshua was on the cross, he said it is finished, and he gave up his spirit, he gave up his ruach. Um, but the other two, the one on the right and the left of him who was crucified also, they remained alive. So what they did is they walked up to him and broke their legs. But Yehoshua was already, he already gave up the spirit. So what they did is they pierced him through the side. So. What that shows us is that Yehoshua could not be broken. Even the cross Amen. couldn't break him. Hallelujah. Even bearing the weight of Hallelujah. our sins did Hallelujah. not break him. They could not break him. Hallelujah. They bruised him. Hallelujah. They scorched him. Hallelujah. They whipped him. They put him through the fire, but Amen. it didn't break him. So all of this is represented in the way that we eat our Passover. And this is what makes this such a special occasion. And when all of us are, are, are keeping this feast on the calendar, the Enoch calendar, then we all keep it at one time and all of this, this, this smoke offering goes up Hallelujah. to the Most High simultaneously all around the world. So this is why it's so important for us to understand Enoch's calendar and the sign of the time. As you can see, if you just look at this tree here, um, if you, if you can see it, it's already blossoming now. It shows us that we're in the proper month of Aviv. Things are starting to grow. You see the white flowers budding all over the trees. The gardens are actually starting to, uh, to sprout again. And we didn't even do anything to it. It's just starting right. to sprout. You know, um, so um, this shows us that this is our new year. And this Amen. is the appointed time for our feast and so forth. Passover will always, 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 always be on a Wednesday evening, the midst of the week. Yehoshua was crucified, and in three days and in three nights he rose up. So if he's crucified and killed on a Wednesday, Wednesday evening, we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday. He, ro he rose on the Shabbat. Yehoshua is Adonai, or Lord of the Sabbath day. So anybody keeping the Passover on any other day, their count will always be off. Wow. Because Yehoshua is the center of time. He's at the center of the Mazaro. Every feast and every uh, uh, account of, of time reckoning has to be focused and centered around the Messiah. If it's not, then it's an error. So this is how we ensure those things. And if you always um, take, if, if Passover is the 14th day of the month, and it's always going to be on a Wednesday because three days and three nights will always take us to Shabbat okay. with him rising up. Okay. If we start at the 14th and count 14 days backwards, that's going to lead us to another Wednesday. So we know the first day of the month, if we count 14 days backwards in time, that will take us to the first of the month, the first, first of the month. year. It's always going to be on a, a Wednesday okay. evening. Always. Always, Hallelujah. always, always. Any other count is off. That's how we ensure. So if we look at Yehoshua and we look at the Passover, we look at his death and resurrection. He resurrected on the Shabbat day. And that's, uh, you know, we start counting the Omer after that. Then we know that we're in accordance with his death, burial, and resurrection. Hallelujah. 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 So, 
as we're here doing this, we just wanted to share this with the family because a lot of people, uh, some people are aware of this and many are not. And this is the importance of the Enoch calendar. It keeps everyone in accord. You can't go wrong with the time, right. the burial, resurrection, and all of that is all included in the calendar. And it always aligns with that, that resurrection on that Shabbat day, three days and three nights from that Wednesday. So we pray that this um, blesses you. It's kind of cold out here, and I know that smoke is getting y'all. <laughs> we wanted to share this with the body of Kai Yeshua and with Israel. So may the Most High bless you, and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.